What is going on everybody? Today we are down here at the shop. It is Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, today for Christmas, so my sister used to have a beta tank and the beta fish, you know, uh, it passed away, it died. So she was really bummed out about it. It's my little sister, she's like 10 years old or something. So I decided for Christmas, I'm gonna do her another beta tank. So on this one, I actually have, and I'll flip the camera here. If you guys remember, I have the exact same tank that my beta fish is in. I had a second one. So we're gonna scape this up for, we got, uh, we're gonna use two Amazon, or not Amazon, two micro swords. We got um, some Seacrum uh, fluorite dark. And if you guys watched the video of me and Rob setting up the 125 for the shrimp babies, um, <laughs> we actually opened these bags up on accident thinking that they was it was for it black and it wasn't so i got some of this i got two things of it pre-washed um i got a piece of spider wood i got a little couple pieces of sear stone i got a aquarium master power filter and then i stopped at pet smart yesterday and i picked up a bag of just black real fine aquarium sand and uh we're gonna use that to go over top of the floor dark so i'm gonna set this up so you guys can see me escape this and some of you might be wondering why i put the black sand over top of the floor dark i could have just stuck with the floor dark but for me, I'm not a huge fan of how the fluoride dark looks, and uh, I wanted a black bottom, but of course we didn't have any fluoride dark here, so um, simplest way for me to do it without going and trying to find uh, fluoride black somewhere, because you're really not going to find it at a pet store around here, is the black aquarium sand, or gravel as it's labeled, but it's pretty much sand. And uh, so this is a hardscape we're working with. And the fluoride dark underneath is just to benefit the plants that are growing in here. In here. And uh, it'll benefit them. It's a uh, it's an inert substrate, so it does not buffer this buffer the pH. Um, it's it uh, it's a plant of tank substrate though. So when I bury the uh, micro swords in there, it's gonna benefit them from underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get the micro swords unwrapped and uh, we'll see if we can find a place to put them in here. So all said and done, we used two micro swords, a couple little pieces of cirrus stone, and then I ended up going with and adding a bronze crypt into the bag, just to add a little bit of depth and a little bit of color, and uh, just a piece of spider wood. So when I get this home and I set it up for tonight, uh, when she goes to sleep, I'll put the, uh, I'm gonna add some water to this just a little bit to keep the, uh, the roots and everything wet keep the plants going and uh once i get it home and she goes to sleep tonight i'm gonna put the filter on i'll hook the light up and uh i'll get it filled all the way up that way she uh, wakes up to it in the morning so uh let me know what you guys think about the the scape here i did i think it turned out pretty good you guys enjoy your uh your christmas you guys will probably see this after christmas day so i hope you had a great christmas and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.